Oh boy, today is the day, the day we get into quarries, or at least I'm gonna try and get into a quarry. Now there is a mod in here that I looked at and I was like, oh man, this is like the old Buildcraft quarries, which it is, it definitely is. And uh, for at least on the facade, it, it looks that way. Um, but I wanna dive a little bit into this quarry mod and use it to quarry up the beautiful coal area that we found early on when we were uh, messing around with the Hexerai. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I was, I was thinking, this is a regular quarry, right? That's gonna require power. It also requires us to get into the workbench and stuff, which at the moment, I'm, yeah, I don't think we have the power. Uh, this kind of looks like it requires the FTB industrial contraptions power. Uh, just judging off of this, the mega jewels, um, it may accept RF. I don't know, we'll find out when we get into that. But for right now, I think the best quarry is gonna be this solid fuel quarry. Um, so it does require a couple of diamond pickaxes and everything else we should have at hand, including the all the modium nuggets, which is a, a great thing, because I, I, I got just got those recently, right? So that should be perfect. And once we get the right stone <laughs> for our furnaces, we should be able to make this. Now, I don't know too much about this. I don't know. Um, so, area contains protected chunks, uh, so the quarry is stopped. So, with it just being stopped like this, I don't know what the area is. I don't know what it's mining. I have no idea. Um, there's a couple of things right here. Quarry Y setter um, that we might have to get into the, for this. Um, and then we also have the frame, which I think is going to be the actual construction, but it looks like it accepts coal. So we might be able to pipe coal back into itself. Let's get a chest and let's just see if this thing works. <laughs> I mean, to put it, put it bluntly, I have no idea how this, uh, this mod is going to function. I never know. So I do have this coal area that we have set up right here. And I would love to just sort of take this. And with the solid field quarry, ah, so now we can see the area that it's actually going to quarry in. That's kind of cool, actually. That's a pretty cool area, pretty nice area. Um, so with that, let's find the uh, the densest area of coal, and we'll we'll just kind of let it mine that coal, right? That seems reasonable. Now keep in mind, this is just a proof of concept, right? Because you really wouldn't want to just mine this area, right? Um, this only is going to have coal on the surface. And then when we get a little further down, it's gonna kind of run out, but it is a good demonstration to kind of see how this works. So I'm gonna put this in here and we don't see the rod forming just yet, but this is clearing out the area. And then if I put this on top, it is now sending the items to the chest. So yes, that's how it is actually functioning. Kind of cool. I wonder if it's going to show the animation once the area is cleared out that this is in. Oh yeah, it's totally doing that. Look at this right here. So we have the quarry frames that are building out and these are things that we can actually walk on. And then once this is fully built, it should totally do that build craft thing where it, uh, it shows like the, the laser coming down and mining the blocks. So here it goes. Ah, yes. Wow. This is, um, this is something else. It has been quite a while since I've seen this functioning. And look at it, it's actually, it, it's not super slow either. I mean, and this is going to mine out a bunch of stone and everything else. We just need, a, of course, a larger storage inventory for this. But we can probably do that by using like a diamond chest uh, from sophisticated storage. Yeah, and put some, put some upgrades in that bad boy and I, that would definitely work. Now I know you may be thinking, Chosen, can you time in a bottle this or increase the tick rate of this and speed this up? I mean, I would assume you probably can, uh, but to do that, you would need a time in the bottle and the time in the bottle is a little bit expensive, uh, at least early on. You're gonna definitely have to get through mystical agriculture to get speed tier three augments, which requires Imperium. And then you also need to get into bees just a little bit to be able to get yourself some speed upgrades. Yeah, also Vibranium. Or, or unobtainium, yeah, uh, is that what it needs? Yeah, yep, which also means the end. And well, yep, uh, this is a quarry. Um, well, that was a little bit uh, more anticlimactic than I was expecting, uh, but I mean, we can leave it, uh, but we also can't at the same time, as this requires coal and doesn't directly feed itself coal 
in the process of mining. So we would have to, in theory, to be able to run this nonstop, even in its slow pacing, we would probably have to um, have some sort of sustainable fuel. Um, I know we have blaze rods, not 100% sustainable in that case. Uh, we'd have to speed up our farm some way, but maybe a tree farm of some sort could definitely supply this with enough coal. Now, tree farm, you may be saying, hmm, how about botany pots? I think this will be a fantastic way of generating a tree farm in a very small and compact way and to generate unlimited coal for this. This should definitely work. Now, one thing about botany pots as well, it requires a ton of terracotta uh, or clay. Um, and I think finding a terracotta biome is probably gonna be my best bet. So I just ran a search for Badlands and it is over 9,000 blocks away. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Uh, but I do need to bring myself a waystone. <laughs> I don't wanna have to, uh, well, I mean, I, I always want to way back to the that location. So yeah, waystone definitely the way to go. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> we're probably gonna find a waystone along the way given it's 9,000 blocks away. I have found a ship! Yes! Um, but it does look like it has some bad guys on it. Um, probably should take care of those. Thankfully we have the cold snap, so this should be pretty easy, right? And like, we should be able to take care of all of them together? Look at that. How easy is that? Look at them, look, just get wrecked. Get wrecked. They have like some insta-damage potions, it looks like, on their tipped arrows. Awesome. Oh yeah, we got these guys too. They're kind of locked in place, which is kind of weird. Oh, this guy's not locked in place. Oh god. Ah yes, the spawner for emeralds right here. 100% what this is. This provides, oh, an emerald spawner. This could be really powerful, honestly. Really, really powerful. Um, now, let's see, what's in here? Some gunpowder, I'll take that. Gunpowder, redstone, flint. Um, I'll worry about those later, the moats. But definitely worth grabbing some of this stuff. Um, and then down below, down below, we should have, I'm gonna have to place some lights in here to potentially stop that spawner. But these guys are pretty rough. Yeah, you definitely don't wanna let them hit you. Okay, 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 we can chill. Chill for a moment. What an adventure, are you, are you getting this out of the way? Maybe I can go ahead and break this without the spawner triggering. Uh, yeah, break one more time. I think we hold shift, maybe. There we go, and Oh, so if you don't open it, you don't get the loot. Oh, that's a bummer. Because of the spawner being on top, I don't... We might come back, though, for that spawner. That spawner is, I think, more important than whatever the loot was that this was going to give me. Oh, nice. There's a little secret trap door right here. And it looks like... Ah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Like fish. And more emeralds. Definitely worth worth coming in here and grabbing this stuff. Now I know with the time it's taking me to travel like this, I could have probably just farmed up some clay and smelted it up, but it's all about the journey, right? So I would much rather spend time flying through the air, discovering really cool biomes, than sitting in a river or ocean, just right clicking until I collected enough. Yeah, clay. So um, yeah, I'm just sort of flying around for right now. Discovered all kinds of cool stuff actually. Um, there was a village just right over here that I believe is a mine colonies village. So it's like an abandoned mine colonies village, which is kind of interesting because I don't think I've ever seen a structure like that. So, but anyways, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm getting close to halfway there and I'm bound to find more cool things. By the way, this area, I know what this is. <laughs> I've kind of skipped over it. If you have arachnophobia, do not go into this hole. You will regret it. Um, it is full of spooters and, uh, well, cobweb. I guess you could farm cobweb here. But yeah, it's full of spooters and loot. And I honestly don't think the loot is worthwhile compared to how many spooters are in there. So just be weary if you do go in that hole. No, no, no spoilers. Oh boy, I think I've discovered one of the worst villages ever. Oh, I gotta look away. I gotta, I, I, it burns my eyes. It's like, it's seriously just burning. 
Oh, no. I mean, Birch is fine, but... Whew. This one, this one's pretty rough. So, I don't think I've ever stumbled upon a mansion. But I, I know this is a is a modded one. Like, this this village is also quite sweet looking. Uh, but I'm more excited about this. It's a woodland mansion. I mean, I know it's it's one that's definitely modded, I believe, because I think it's a uh, dark oak is what's normally used. This one looks really cool, but we could potentially get an upgrade to our spell book. So long as we kill a wither, which will be really easy, but I think getting a totem of undying is a little bit harder than actually killing the wither. I mean, we already have all the skulls and everything, so we could pop in here just for a moment, quick moment, and maybe take out some of the, uh, the baddies in there and maybe you reap the rewards. So let's just sort of poke our head in here real quick and uh, maybe do a little bit of uh, mob slaughtering. That's a good idea. So there's that guy sort of standing there. Come on, I don't want to run out of mana. I don't think I'm going to run out of mana. We should be fine. That guy's getting taken out. Oh boy, this is, what is that? Is that a boss? <laughs> what? That skeleton's got some crazy speed going on right here. This is not fair. There we go. I'll shed some light on the situation. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Oh, I gotta find... What is it? Vindicators? Oh boy. They may be on the up, upper... Upper stairs. They should be standing on these tables that are in here. In hopefully this next open room. I only want to get one. Oh my gosh, that creeper come out of nowhere. Let's get this guy. And then... Should be coming up. Perfect, right here. This is who I want. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> the creeper. Creeper! <laughs> okay, well I'm fine. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was literally one totem of undying for this. So I have made it, and of course there's a village literally right here. Oh, and there's a way, so I didn't even have to make one. But, that's good that we have this. I'm actually gonna rename this and call it Terra. This is perfect. So now that we have a way back, by the way, this windswept sandstone looks so cool. It's like pink. That's neat. All right, well, I'm here for this. I'm here to definitely collect all of this material. And how lucky can I be? There's <laughs> there's one of these right here. Okay, I'm going to definitely make my way in here, if at all possible. And see what loot is, uh, is hiding down below, because I bet there's some good stuff down here. Guarantee it. I'm a little bit weary about this one. Like, this doesn't have a regular pressure plate. So I'm kind of curious how this actually functions. Is there something back here that triggers? Okay. I don't see anything. Okay, that was a block of a single TNT. I'm still kind of scared that there's, these are going to be trapped. Oh my god. How? How? What was even, what was even trapped about him? <laughs> what just got me there? So after that sad adventure travesty, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and just, and just spend my time mining. I, I do like this yellow. So we might use this. By the way, whatever color you pick up here is what color you're going to probably make your pots out of. So um, if you're wanting yellow pots, go ahead and pick up the yellow material. So after all that adventuring, well, it's time to now go back to our quarry, see how far it's progressed, and get ourselves some infinite fuel set up. Now I have grabbed myself a few things. I have some item pipes, a golden furnace, one singular drawer, which should be enough. And then we also need uh, the particular type of wood. And I think, I think spruce is going to be plenty for this. Um, we want something that only produces sticks and saplings. We don't want something that produces um, like apples for this because, well, that would just, we would have to probably have a cure, uh, culinary generator to kind of consume that. But um, I think this is going to be fine. We just want to generate charcoal and have the charcoal sent over. So let's check out what this has been doing so thus far. 
While we've been working on everything, this has been mining, and so this should have a pretty nice... Ooh, look at that. A pretty nice amount of stuff, actually. Actually, that's better than I was expecting for this little area. But I need to get this set up so that when we feed coal to this thing... Um, and wow, it's actually maintained this coal for quite a while. This thing is probably one of the best early game things I, I can recommend for a quarry, because it uses very little power. You can automate it quite easily. I mean, yeah, okay. Actually, I just realized I forgot my uh, hopping botany pots. We're going to have to make those. So to make this, let's see, I'm going to do four. We're going to do four pots. Um, they're going to be the yellow. So we have the yellow pots. I think these will be fine, right? This is the terracotta we have. Perfect. And then we need to turn them into a hopping. By the way, this is much bro. Oh, we can do concrete? Oh, that's even cooler. That's a much brighter color. But anyways. All right. So yeah, hoppers. Um, as many as we can make. There we go. Four of them. And then just combine them here. Oh, looks like there's two different recipes. Perfect. So um, we have ourselves the botany pots. And uh, we also have item pipes. Now, I'm not sure if the item pipes can pull directly from the uh, the botany pots. I don't think this has an inventory, but um, we can test this out. We can test this out. So let's go ahead and place this here. We'll place a pipe. And then on top, we can place this. Okay, so it does connect to the bottom, which is promising. And if we set that to extract, it should extract. Now, we are going to need some dirt or grass. Um, I might actually just use this. Boop. And then inside this, unfortunately, we don't have a really good, like, display of how this is going to work. Uh, but you can see right here, seed producing sapling. And we put the dirt in there. And we can kind of see progress. We can see a progress bar here. Um, to speed this up, we can use bone mill. I'm going to, yeah, probably speed this up. Let's get some uh, bone mill. And let's see if once this is done... It's going to take a couple here. It can pull. So there must be some sort of buffer in here. So it's quite awesome. So I can pull from here. And hopefully it gives... I mean, it might not give sticks or anything like that. It may just straight up give wood. And not give saplings as well. That looks like it's only giving... Wood. So far is kind of interesting. So if that's the case, this will actually be pretty easy then. So we'll just need to make sure these are all set to extract and are piping in. So we'll have two that extracts to the top, um, which uh, shouldn't be too difficult. We could even use the inputs here because this does have input control. I'm not too concerned about it. If we wanted to set up like a small automation, we could do that and just have one per side. Uh, but for right now, I think it'll be best to have the pipe here. And then a pipe here. Take the pots. Make sure they're on top. Get them all set up. One dirt per. And there might be a better soil we could potentially use later on. We'll have to take a look at that later on. But yeah. Also, I did learn a thing. I don't think this is the innate function of botany pods. I think this is like an, an added mod that allows you to put saplings in. Kind of interesting. Um, now, right here, we want to disable this. Have this set to extract. And that should work. Like, this should automatically work. Down on the bottom, all we have to do is say, boop, like this. Make sure that's set there. And now, once this gets a little bit of wood in, go ahead and speed this up. This should be more than enough to keep up with this through its journey. And you can see right here, of course, the top slot is going to be right here. The side slot is going to produce that. And then the bottom slot should produce charcoal. However, it doesn't seem like it has anywhere to go because we have to remove our regular coal out of there in order to do this. Now, this might actually be self-fueling. If we really pulled coal out that it was mining and put it back into itself, it would probably work. But I honestly think this is going to work way better. You can see right here, same amount of time. We already got five in there. Yeah, this will this will fuel this forever. Now, I know I didn't touch on this too much, but there are markers that you could potentially put down and you should be able to set how big of a quarry you want. And this should be able to go a little bit bigger unless these are literally defined for the uh, the regular quarry um, that you'd have to feed power. But I mean, honestly, this size is plenty. 
Yeah, this is this thing is fantastic. I mean, it we've gotten down to this level, which I'm gonna assume is like almost to Y level zero. And then it's going to go even further than that because it can mine all the way down into the good stuff, which it looks like it's just now getting into. And I think it's going to take a little bit longer to mine that, but man, this thing's pretty quick on its own, too. So I, I went ahead and monitored this for a little bit just to make sure that everything was functioning properly. And look at that. We have 28 in here. And yeah, this is more than enough. This is definitely functioning and is working just fine. Any new logs that go in here that come from this are just going straight into here. Doesn't seem to be putting anything like saplings in or anything like that. And so this is producing charcoal and allowing this bad boy to roll and produce all kinds of other goodies that we're gonna be able to use in the future. Man, this is exciting stuff. Now, just some update news because I am on a newer version as of the time of this recording, um, uh, some stuff was added. That's actually kind of awesome. So we have right here, hex casting is a new thing and handcrafted is sort of a major thing that was added. Um, the handcrafted adds tons, tons of these really, really awesome models and stuff for you to uh, decorate your house with. I'm excited for this because this will, I'm, I'm gonna use it, especially the uh, the trophies. I mean, look at this, there's a, there's a wolf trophy, which is kind of, kind of weird, <laughs> but that's there. We have all these like mob trophies and things like that. The phantom trophy, like you can hang it from like your ceiling. Oh, it's so cool. And then we also have the hex casting, which is, uh, it looks like spells. Yeah, you'll start off with a book and like you have a spell book and all this kind of stuff that you can use. I'm kind of interested to see what kind of magic shenanigans we can get into with that. But for now, today has been quite awesome and I'm quite satisfied with the quarry that we got up and running. It's kind of really what I wanted to get started. We're still very early game. We're still very, very early game. Uh, of course, things will ramp up very quickly. You will find here soon, as soon as we get to the end, like a whole plethora of things are going to open up. Uh, power is gonna be incredibly easy for us to obtain, which I mean, it kind of already is, but um, just a whole a whole thing, a whole, whole plethora of things are just gonna, gonna open up. So, hope you're excited for that, I'm excited for that. But of course, guys, it's time to thank the supporter of today's video. And that thank you is going to go to... Snaker, I think that's right. Snaker, thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord, becoming a Discord premium member, and of course, be sure to check that out because if you do become a member over there, you do get access to tons of wonderful perks, such as a supporter server, which we do have in all the mods a supporter server up at the moment. Tons of people playing on that and having a blast. And we also have access, or you also get access to world downloads and custom perks there on the Discord as well. All kinds of cool goodies uh, to say thank you guys for supporting. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, I will see you in the next one or I will see you over on Twitch streaming at twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. And as always guys, thanks for watching.